It was a great joy and privilege meeting Mary Lovain with her husband Matt in their home in the great Hawaiian island just above Kona because Mary is a world-known author of the book Chameleons in the Garden. She is the privileged one to have chameleons in their garden, seeing them from the terrace or even from the bedroom. And she has put together all the observations she could do within many years of observing the feral Jackson's chameleons in the Hawaiian Islands into a wonderful publication. But today we will talk about another lady, Silke Rot, from Kenya, and about another species of chameleon, which is called Kinyongia multituberculata, the western Usambara two-horned chameleon. This wonderful and colorful species of chameleon lives in the western Usambara mountains, where it occurs actually on the top of the mountain as the only species uh, in the disturbed and widely deforested area. We do not know how many other species chameleons were home in this area before the deforestation, but only one remnant species stayed in the remnants of forests on the top of West Usambara mountains, which is the spiny chameleon Ramphalon spinosus. Either this was the situation from the past as well, or it seems that the chameleon, which is subject of our talk today, the Kinyongia multituberculata, is relatively aggressive and might cause the extinction of other chameleon species formerly present on this mountain. Because just a simple comparison of these two chameleon faunas on western and eastern Uzambara mountains, which are just several of tens of kilometers away from each other, shows that instead of two species inhabiting western Uzambara mountains, we have a series of nine species inhabiting actually the eastern Usambara mountains. And this is, of course, a little bit strange. For an unknown reason, we see the spreading of this species, however, also to Kenya, where it did not occur in the past. It was introduced, very likely as a pet, in Karen, which is a suburb of Nairobi, full of gardens and lush vegetation. And here, Silkarot is living, a further lucky lady which has chameleons in the garden. Thanks to the fact that chameleons are native to this area, the series of species she can actually observe is bigger than what is the chance of Mary Lovain in the Hawaii. So you can see here the three-horned chameleon, sometimes called the Jackson's three-horned chameleon, Triocerus jacksoni. You can see here also the von Hennel's chameleon, Triocerus henneli. And you can see also the dwarf form of the flat-necked chameleon, Chameleo dilepis. Thanks to Silke Roth, we have an insight into the natural behavior of this species, though living in a semi-natural environment just a couple of hundreds of kilometers away from their home country. So enjoy some of the pictures and videos of fighting males. Of calmly sitting females observing the surrounding nature or an extremely funny and strange video when a male of the von Hennel's cask chameleon decided to chase an adult male of Kenyongia multituberculata across the road. Silke was able also to see the reproduction activities, including the 
eggs laid into the soil deep in a hole of about 15 centimeter deep and seen also the hatching babies that is also a natural part of the natural history of any animal and we were also lucky to secure one voucher specimen of a dead female for the national museum of kenya we have compiled some of the observations into a paper which appeared in archives.eu where it is available for you as well we will keep you updated so stay tuned